What's up, Bama Insider Nation? Trey Entity here for the next video in a series we're going to run through the rest of the summer called The Two Biggest Storylines, where we highlight the two biggest questions around all of Alabama football's position groups. Today, we're going to be addressing the running back room, but before we get into this video, you guys know the drill. Hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, and give us a super thanks to show your support. We appreciate all that you do. The two questions we'll be addressing today in the 2021 Alabama running backs. The first one, will Alabama have a clear cut running back one? The second question, who is the biggest candidate for a breakout season in 2021? Let's start with the first question. To put it simply, yes, Alabama will have a clear cut running back one. Last season, Najee Harris took the nation by storm and arguably would have won the Heisman in most seasons. But after Najee declared to the NFL draft, his backup Brian Robinson thought about doing the same thing. As it turned out, Robinson decided to stick around for one more year at Alabama and will be the starter in 2021. The biggest question, how will he be able to fill Harris's shoes? Well, Nick Saban has confidence. Well, I think it's really says a lot about his maturity and understanding that you know, if he came back, he would have a more significant role, get to play more, get to show people, you know, what he's really capable of and what he can do. When he did play last year, he played extremely well for us. Uh, I was really pleased. He just didn't play that much. And it really wasn't his fault. You know, Najee was one of those kind of guys that, um, you know, the more he played and the more he ran the ball, the better he got. So he, he really wasn't one of those guys that you wanted to take in and out of the game all the time. You know, he he's, he's just would get on a roll. And 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 I think that probably affected B-Rob's playing time a little bit. Um, but it wasn't his fault. Uh, we, we had all the confidence in the world in him last year. And uh, I think he knows what he has an opportunity to do this year. And he's so far really, really been great in the offseason program and had three really good days. And providing leadership out there so i'm encouraged brian brings consistency he's known for his leg drive his ability to push through tacklers and fall forward while going down he isn't going to be the kind of guy that burns you away but he's a small defender's nightmare i'd compare him to a smaller derrick henry he rarely goes out of bounds and has excellent vision downfield while finding holes and scarcely going down for loss brian robinson is the next in line at running back at alabama he will fill in Najee harris's shoes and I believe with the amount of playing time he's going to get this season, he's going to have the chance to prove himself, like Nick Saban was saying in the video, show you what he's really capable of. Now on to the second question. Who is the biggest breakout candidate in 2021 for the running backs? Our running back room right now, Brian Robinson is number one and the number two back. And the number two back, Jace McClellan, is primed for a big season as well. He is my breakout candidate number one. I don't even know if this counts as a breakout candidate because this dude has really caught some attention. Over the last year, he's gotten bigger and has primed himself to be in the fold, projected to get his fair share of touches this year. He now weighs in at 215 pounds, meaning that he's already gained 15 pounds since being in Tuscaloosa. Now headed into his sophomore season, a lot of that is muscle, and it's going to help him with his reliability and consistency as a runner. There's a chance we could see Jay step into the slot and become a receiver as well. That's something we saw at spring practice. He will be listed as the second running back heading into fall camp. And after a big A day, is looking to follow it up with a consistent season in 2021. The next guy up is going to be Roydell Williams. But I think Roydell is also going to be pretty consistent and is just going to and is going to kind of be that three back guy. But there's another running back that if he is healthy, I think could really change the dynamic of this room. Trey Sanders. He had limited playing time in 2020 as his season was ended after a car wreck in November. He redshirted his original freshman season after an injury before the year. And now heading into 2021, his status is a little bit unknown. Sanders is the kind of running back that uses his size well and is very shifty. Another guy that's really hard to tackle. I would assume regardless of if he's 100% or not, Roydell Williams is going to be that third back, but I'd also have to say that Sanders has a higher ceiling than Roydell, if he can come back and remain healthy. These three backs behind Brian Robinson will add firepower, speed, and durability, and much needed depth in the SEC. Not only will these four backs see action for Alabama on the field, but they're going to be called on to be teachers off the field. When it comes to guys like Kamar Wheaton, the youngest back of this group and the former number one running back recruit in the country, 
he is going to learn from all four of these backs, and they'll all be taught by a new running backs coach as well. This past January, the Crimson Tide announced the hire of Jay Graham as the running backs coach, but after the decision to pursue a better understanding of mental health, Jay Graham resigned, and the Crimson Tide announced the hire of North Carolina assistant Robert Gillespie to be the new running backs coach. Gillespie spent two years under Mac Brown in North Carolina and is known for finding creative ways to get the ball to his running backs. We talked about the offensive line in yesterday's video, and yes, they are young, but they are led by a talented Evan Neal, and I think the maturity will develop as the season goes on. Brian Robinson looks to lead these backs and truly put his name on the map in 2021, while the rest of the running back room hopes to provide steady offense when called on this season. For more information on the running back room and to check out all things Alabama Crimson Tide football, subscribe to the channel and give us a super thanks. Your support really goes a long way. We'll have the next in line in our storyline series tomorrow, but until then, for BamaInsider.com, my name is Trey Yannity. This has been two storylines on the running back room at Alabama.